Hello everyone, Vampire218 here bringing you another video in my Pokemon Draft Type Analysis series. Today I've chosen to look at the Psychic type. Jumping right into things, on the defensive, Psychic resists itself and fighting and is only weak to Bug, Dark, and Ghost. So defensively, it's not the worst as Psychic and Fighting type moves are very common However, Dark through Knockoff and Dark Pulse are pretty common, and Ghost type moves are also pretty common. On the offensive side, Psychic has no effect against Dark types, is weak against Psychic and Steel types, and is strong against Poison and Fighting types. Now, this is pretty good because we already know that Steel types resist almost everything. Steel types have about 10 resistances. And immunity and they're just really hard to get through so most types aren't going to be effective against them and being resistant to itself is always good uh, having no effect against dark types means you do have an issue because you are also weak to dark types so you're gonna have a hard time dealing with dark types in general and being strong against fighting and poison fighting is a pretty common type and most draft teams will have a poison type on them whether it be the Nidos or you know mega venusaur or regular venusaur poison types are pretty common so having an, another way of dealing with those is always good jumping into the mons we will see that psychic types have incredible special attack um you know looking at it just alakazam with that 135 and 120 speed that's huge uh, Azelf with the 125 and 115, amazing. And the abilities that Psychic Types get are also good. So we have Magic Guard, and this prevents any indirect damage. This prevents toxic damage, this prevents hazards from doing damage. We have Synchronize, which if you get status or something, you bounce it back to the opponent. And Inner Focus prevents crit, uh, flinching, not crits. Now, a Trace also lets you, I believe, uh, co yeah, it copies their ability. You know, Levitate to remove a ground. Uh, you know, you don't be hit by ground types. Uh, we got Clear Body, which produce, which re uh, means you do not get uh, stat reductions. And uh, Heat Proof on uh, Bronzong, which removes the fire weakness. Overall, the abilities that these types of Pokemon get are really good. You know, natural Cure on the Celebi, and um, you know, as we see Celebi being the mythical Pokemon of Gen 2, having 100s all around. Uh, Cresselia, extremely tanky, and as I mentioned for that. Uh, Darmanitan Zen Mode is pretty good. Um, so I, like, I know some people prefer um, regular Darmanitan and run the other ability of Darmanitan, but Zen Mode ha puts in work as well. You know, Deoxys being an incredibly high special attacker in regular form and uh, attack form, whereas defense and speed, it suffers a little, but even having a 95 isn't the worst. Espeon, an amazing magic bouncer with uh, really fast and really heavy and special attack. And you're going to see this theme without um, throughout the entire psychic typing, that they're generally fast and they generally have a very good special attack. And even some of them have really good special defense, but you know, Executor, not fast, but high special attack. Galhade, high special defense. Gardevoir, high special defense and high special attack. Uh, Gothitelle, high special defense, pretty high special attack. Hoopa, special defense, special attack. You're going to see this throughout. Um, and there are so many good psychic types, you know, both Laddies, Lugia, Medicham. Uh, all the ones I've mentioned, Meowth, or not Meowstick, I mean Meowstick is, uh, is good as well, but Mesprit, Metagross, Mew, uh, Mr. Mime as a screensetter with deceptively high stats from what you think a Mr. Mime would have, uh, Musharna as a good synchronizer, you know, having high HP, high special attack, I mean low speed, but with those uh, special attack, special defense, and HP stats, you don't need it to go first and uh, use it on a trick room set. 
Reuniclus uh, having Regenerator being huge in his special attack, special defense, and HP. The the bro or the slow bro and the slow king. Starmy, uh, Uxi, Victini, Wobbuffet, Zatu. So many good psychic types. Uh, and that's why I really have this so high because so many of these Pokemon are just super good. They, they hit super hard and I mean they're just good Pokemon. Uh, now going into the moves, we're going to end up seeing that a lot of the uh, moves are uh, utility. So we have agility to raise your speed, uh, amnesia to raise your special defense by two stages, barrier raises your defense by two stages, calm mind your special attack and special defense by one stage. Um, and this is going to be a pretty common theme where a lot of them are utility. Heal block prevents your opponent from healing, gravity removes immunity to ground, it also I believe, um, I mean I, I feel like gravity does something else as well, maybe re uh, lowers evasion or something, uh, because you use, usually see that being banned with uh, the move that Darkrai gets, but I, I don't know. Either way, um, things like healing wish you die and then the opponent you or the pokemon you bring in gets immediately healed to full and the uh, status that's on it is removed hypnosis to put most foes to sleep in prison if you're expecting your opponent to have a certain move you can prevent them from using it you got light screen we got magic coat to bounce moves we got magic room where we where items don't have an effect for five turns it's huge uh, mirror coat which is the special version of counter um, there's just so many good and there's not even just status we have psychic psy shock like so many good offensive moves as well synchronize this was huge like this caught me off guard in a recent battle but um, like look at that power if you're ex if you're uh, anticipating a certain type you know that's a good move trick room uh to you know switch the speed so slower pokemon go first reflect as the other screen rest there's just so many good psychic moves and uh this is really why i think psychic is just such a good type um now i do think dark type is slightly better just because if you look again you know if you have a psychic type versus a dark type dark can use their stab move and destroy psychic types and psychic types have no effect on dark types but the utility that a psychic type brings is just so much better uh, dark types have knock off and other very specific things they're doing where psychic types do a lot of things all across the board and as we even go down here, you know, we have trick. You switch items with your opponent. Well, that's huge. You suddenly go from being a scarfed user to forcing your opponent to have a scarf. And that's amazing. That can really mess up teams. Um, you know, you go from having massive damage from a special attack or physical attack. And you put up a screen and you don't do that anymore. There's just, you know, your opponent is wanting to uh, heal stall you, heal block. There's just so many good moves that do just everything across the board in one way or another. And that's why I think psychic types are really underrated. You definitely should pick up a psychic type for your draft. Simply for the utility. Even if you don't want to use it as a heavy hitter like Latios or Latias or Alakazam, get it as a utility based one because they're amazing at that. I've been Vampire218, bringing you my draft type analysis of the Psychic type in the Draft League format. If you like the video and you would like to see more Pokemon Draft League content, content, please leave a like, favorite, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye!